So now let's discuss the important components of the lower limb extensor synergy which are hip extension, adduction, internal rotation with knee extension, ankle plantar flexion inversion and toes flexion. Now the strongest component of the lower limb extensor synergy are hip adduction and knee extension. These two muscles are very closely linked together in the lower limb extensor synergy. Like for example, if we make a hemiplegic patient stand and the patient has a fear of fall, immediately there will be increased activity in the vestibulospinal pathway. As a result, the quadriceps is going to become spastic because the patient doesn't want to fall so he avoids the buckling of the knee. So because of the activation of the quadriceps, the adductor muscles of the hip will also act along with it because they are connected in a synergy. And as a result, what is going to happen is that patient is going to fall towards the hemiplegic side. And because of this, the hemiplegic patient finds it difficult to perform the upright standing activity.